Yo, 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 what's going on, guys? My name is Pow CQ. Pow! Lo, you already know. Let's go! And today, I'm actually going to share with you guys a cool, cool tip. All right, common mistakes that Shopify newbies make when they're getting started. This one's going to be a very costly mistake. It can actually cost you hundreds of dollars, even possibly thousands of dollars. So I want you guys to pay close attention to the tip that I'm going to share with you guys. Today's tip is a little exaggerated, but it's actually true. I'll tell you a quick story, all right? I've been coaching several of my students to be able to, you know, help them grow their Shopify store and help them get to the next level, right? I also run an e-commerce agency with one of my business founder, uh, business partners. I'm a co-founder, and one of the mistakes that I want to share with you guys is actually from one of my students. I'm not going to say any names. I'm going to, I'm not going to put them out there, but it has to do with him not getting add to carts, and it has to do with an invisible button. So, one day we sit down and I start asking him how long he's been running his ads for his Facebook ads to a specific product and he says I've been running it for almost five days and I take a look at his stats and guess what sure enough I see that his targeting looks pretty good I see that his engagement looks pretty good I see people commenting saying that they want it everything looks good but nobody is adding the product to the cart nobody this is really strange so we do a little more investigating and we get to his product page and when we get to his product page you're not going to believe this but he had an invisible button okay <laughs> i know this sounds crazy but he had an invisible button that's right it looked just like this all right now this is a fun way to kind of share with you guys this tip or should i say this mistake but i'm going to share with you guys the color the button should be and why it's proven and a color that sticks out and gets people to click all right so I want you guys to pay close attention so the button was just like this it was invisible all right so now the reason why this is a problem is that if you have an invisible button or maybe the color of your button basically uh, is the same color of your theme maybe it doesn't stick out right the whole point is the button needs to stick out it needs to stand out it needs to grab your customers attention or should I say your visitors attention so they know how to click it so when they land on this this button looks just invisible right I mean it doesn't stick out it kind of blends into the background so often so many people's buttons blend into the background and it doesn't stick out actually one of the better colors that has been proven to work is uh, actually not that color but it's actually let me just move it over here happens to be green okay a green button look how that pops look how that pops it pops right so it gets people to see that there's a button there and guess what so if a quick little thing um, if you have the up, up ability to change the, the lettering on your button that's also something you could do so I gotta get it for free plus shipping this is a free just pay shipping product but if you have a retail product you can also switch it to something like buy it now right just really strong words right but anyways that's just an extra tip that I just threw in there did you just see that did you just see what I did did you see it did you catch it anyways right but again the invisible button right ask yourself is my butt does my button stand out does it stick out and the least that you could do is you could change it to a color like green that stands out and that has been proven to work okay so Please make sure your button's not invisible and please really seriously don't let your button blend with your theme or your background because people are not going to see it. They're not going to know where to click on, right? So this was actually the reason why he wasn't getting at any add to carts, okay? So make sure you check it out. That was my tip for today. There you go. My name is Spile CQ. All right, and here we go. Shopify tip for today. Common mistakes that people do. Don't have an invisible button. Make sure you make that button stand out. Make it green, all right? So my name is Fowlsec again. Pow! Lo, you already know. Let's go and make sure you keep following me. Make sure you follow me on Snapchat at Fowlsec. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at Fowlsec underscore Q. And make sure you follow me on Facebook, which is Paulo Crispalaya Coaching, which you guys can get more access to me. All right, that's it. Peace.